Yeah, that's a really good question because I think often that's dictated by. I saw a smile that you like that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. There's obviously like something going between you two there. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Who can get the? That's a good question. Remark from the guest. Okay, that was a really good question. Thank you. I'm gonna give that really good, and I love the smirk. I think with learning, what's really important is is gravitating towards something that really turns you on musically. And I go through these phases of going, I'm going to do some jazz and I'll do a bit of this. And then I get excited for a little bit. And then I just slowly creep back to where I want to be. And so I want to be doing this stuff. So I, I think that I struggle with. Um, but I also realize, I, I think on that note, what's been really important for me in my career and it took me some years, but finding my lane and realizing who I was as a drummer, what I felt were my strengths, weaknesses, having that awareness that clearly you have as well when you talk about wanting that headroom and wanting to learn. And then realizing that, okay, I want to go down that route. I want to be that guy. I absolutely agree that if you go and play jazz or you can play Latin, it adds stuff to your playing. But me personally, I'm just not trying to go and be the top jazz guy, the top Latin guy, because I wouldn't be that guy. So I think always constantly trying to add to that, but realizing like, this is who I am. Mm. And really, I, I try and would we'll just try and catch a wave and be like, okay, I'm inspired by this. I'm really in, like, if I, I remember when I first worked, with, I'm going back a few years now, but with a band called Gold Ray, who are like a prog rock band. So that's Ken Winhouse from Reef. It was his prog band. And I got the call and he's like, are you free next week to learn this stuff? I was like, cool. Yeah, I'm free. Let me have a listen to the stuff. I knew it was prog. And my first thing is like, oh, is odd times really my thing? Like, yeah, I can play odd time, but I wouldn't say I'm like, I'm certainly not a, not a master. And I was like, yeah, I can, I'll do it. I'm around. And I, you know, I scheduled it for a week and got the gig done. And then I was inspired to be like, cool, I'm going to go and delve down this now. I'm going to ask them about their favorite records, what inspired them for their stuff. So then I'll go down a bit of an odd time thing or, you know, I'll get a different gig and then I'll be really inspired about that. And it might be more electronic um, or even with the Jake thing, the Jake, you know, Jake is such a, you know, knowledgeable guy when it comes to music, you know, we talk about all these great records. So like he gave me some great recommendations. So I've been really getting into like talking heads and then you hear that stuff. And then I start thinking about sound, like sounds a big thing for me. Um, I'm not, you know, I do go through phases going, I'm going to work on this exercise, but really I get such a kick out of playing and getting a good sound from my instrument and thinking about the relationship between the hats, the kick and the snare, thinking about groove, thinking about time, the things that I think are the things that employ get you employed. So I spend a lot of time on that. Um, and then over the last few years, especially done quite a lot of studio stuff that for me is really taught me a lot because you're then in a room with a producer and you're listening back you're like cool let's work on this let's get that sound or let's change the beat of there okay that tuning like all these things that are like quite deep stuff and really hard to learn i think mainly through experience i think you learn it that's where i've grown as a musician um and there's definitely room for me to be working on some technical stuff but it's just not naturally where i want to go i'd rather i think the art form that is maybe lost with a young generation and uh, is is listening is listening to music like you we've got spotify and all these things where we can listen to anything we want that is the most listen to the greats listen to your jeff Beccaros and all those guys and think about their sound how they got that sound think about drum choices that's the big that's the big thing for me i think as a musician so that probably turns me on musically the most i'd yeah. say You guys look great with shaved heads. And I think oh. with the beard as well, I actually could be on this podcast full time, right? Is that the, yeah. Well, you know, it's not looking in a mirror. Yeah. 